Hey everybody, welcome. Dion Woods here with the Turquoise Iris. I've been working on this piece of furniture now for, I don't know, probably, oh, sorry Abby, hit her in the head. Um, 10 days now, I believe, off and on, and we're on part seven of me doing the lives, and I wanted to give you guys the finishing touches. Okay, so I'm just about done, and hoping to get the piece photographed and staged and on my website at theturquoiseiris.com um, by tomorrow. Um, but with ball games tonight, we're gonna have to procrastinate and push this off. And actually, no, no, I'm not really procrastinating, I mean, let's be real. I'm just pushing it back. Hi, Mary, welcome for you guys for popping on here. Um, we are finishing this entire piece, not we, just me, um, with white wax. And I left one section of this piece. I've been working on the entire piece step by step with you guys, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And um, if you have not seen this at all, let's take a quick little peek around the corner. I'm gonna give you a little peek here so you can see all that goodness. And it's completely finished. And we're gonna wrap up the side here. And I just thought, well, you guys can join me. So you can see right off the bat, this little section here is darker. I have not used my white wax on it and not my wax. DIY wax. Um, so this is DIY wax from Debbie's Design Diary. It is made with love, beeswax, and a couple of other things that are um, non-toxic, no VOCs, and um, I have put it over the entire piece. There is metallic on here. There is um, a color that we call black velvet, hay sailor, French millinery, we have Kissing Booth, and then we finished at the bottom with Mermaid Tail and Hey Sailor. So I'll give you a peek of what that looks like now at the very bottom, and Abby's big rear in the way. So you can see what that looks like. This script is um, by Iron Orchid Designs, and this is my Boho French application. So I thought, well, we'll just finish off the top together here. Then I'm gonna use my buffer. This, its little name is Buff and it's from Paint Pixie. And then this one is Buffy and I will use this one around the edges. But what you have is a little bit of a boho, a little bit of a French look with the French script. Um, I think it's a love story. I think the love story in the script says, hey gorgeous, you're so good at painting. I just love watching you paint. I think it says something to that effect and that they have just enjoyed me coming on here and giving you guys step-by-step. Step. I'm pretty sure that's what the script says. Nobody wants to argue with me that, right? Hi, Fatima. How are you, Sonia? Thank you. I am going to grab this. I'm using the short handle and I do use a different wax brush for like my whites, my clears, my darks, and my blacks. I have a different one for each. So um, I'm just gonna finish this little section right here and let you see the difference that it makes. And then I'll get out of y'all's way. I'm gonna put my little handy dandy rag in my back pocket. Actually, no, I won't, because it won't stay. A little goes a long way. So as you can see, I just dipped it in there, but I did not put very much on there, okay? And I'm just doing this middle section. I've already done the outside. I put a little of the, the um, transfer on here. I sanded the transfer and made it really distressed and then I put the white wax over it. The only thing I have left to do is to buff and shine and really create a hard, hard surface between that wax and anything that may come near it. So I'm literally gonna start at the edge and just work my way straight down in the square. I'm not going to worry about getting it too even. Also, anytime you add wax to a piece of furniture, you may have painted it with three or four colors, but you end up with seven or eight after you're finished because wax will really give um, your finishes a whole nother color. So right now I'm waxing over a color called Black Velvet and Hay Sailor is at the bottom, so it's kind of a it's more like a slate gray, and I'm going pretty quickly over it. 
You can do it in a circle however you want to do it. It really doesn't matter. I'm just kind of going up and down. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to take my rag and just wipe off any excess that I may have got on it. It's wet, so there's going to be some areas that are darker than others where I've applied when I first put my brush onto the surface. Okay, now it kind of matches the outsides, but I'm going to just grab a rag, it's just a cotton cloth. Thanks, Annie. Hi, Terry. And I'm just going to go over it really quickly because I want to get off any extra. Now when it dries, it's gonna be a little more even and look more like the sides. Um, it looks like when I rubbed it, I pulled a little bit too much off right here. So I actually am gonna go back in and add a little bit more white to those two areas, but not much guys, literally just tap, like literally just tap a little bit. Okay, don't get too much. I love the whitewash look and I love it over the letters too. The letters are from Iron Orchid Designs. Okay. I love it. I love it. It's like you walk away. Um, so this piece is completely finished. I hope I didn't have it inside and stage for you guys tomorrow again i'm going to in the morning i'm going to use these guys um this is from paint pixie it would make a fabulous christmas gift for any of you that have a fellow furniture artist or a, you know you know someone that wants to shine their boots shoe shiner um extra job little cash on the side shining shoes right here um the only other thing I wanted to tell you was I've just released my second staging course. It's now available at theturquoiseiris.com and it's a five week course. The very first week we learn our home style. We take a fun quiz and um, anyway, if you are interested in that, there are, oh, it is very romantic looking. I think so too. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I actually put a few hearts on the front. Um, but if you're interested, we are going to do a style quiz, a home style quiz, and then we have a week where we're gonna go shopping, we have a week um, where we're going to, I'm gonna stage, we have, I give you homework and challenges and I'm giving away a bunch of prizes too. Um, you can buy me a Christmas gift. You got that, Callie. You got it, girl. I was supposed to have you on here. You wanna come on here with me right now, Callie, and say hello? Hello, Callie. Hello. I, um, would love to have my friend Callie on here, Lorette. Miss Lorette, Mrs. Lorette. She's giving me likes. I'm just giving her a hard time. I would never put someone on the spot like that. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeover. This is like part six, part seven. I'm not even sure. I've uploaded, I know girl. I uploaded um, all of these, I think, to YouTube as well. So if you missed any of the lives, but you can go back and watch from, from a Friday Night Live. I started, um, not even two weeks ago. Um, but again, here's the front of it. Hi, Q. Um, you can kind of tell the sun's kind of glaring in here, but we have our pink, and then we have our mermaid tail down here at the bottom. Um, again, you can go back and watch me paint this entire thing start to finish. Um, maybe not like every single detail, I won't lie. There were times I found myself out here in the middle of the night, not in the middle of the night, like at nine, that's about as late as it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, maybe nine o'clock out here working on it because it's like, I can't get it out of my head. And um, there's a bunch of little surprises all throughout here. So 
tomorrow at thetarquoisiris.com. Hopefully it'll be online and on my social media, all of my social media sites. So you guys, thanks for being here today and we will be back tomorrow for day 45. Day 45 means I'm right in the middle of my 90 day challenge that I've given myself. So I'm halfway to my goal. Um, I'll be live on Facebook every single day for the rest of the year, except for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I know you understand. Thank you, Jack. Uh, I don't know if you go by Diane or Jack. Jack and Diane, super cute. But um, I appreciate it. I do love these colors as well. So you guys have an awesome evening. We'll see you tomorrow.